Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll be talking about unconventional suit colors. Now you may be wondering what exactly I'm talking about when I say the word unconventional. Now we typically see a certain array of colors worn by most men, whether it's a professional or a casual setting. Now this would include shades of blue, gray, or brown. Also black, but we've also got some separate thoughts on black, which you can find in the video here. Then there are some color options that are much more whimsical, especially in comparison to their more classic counterparts. Now despite that these colors might be considered unconventional, in the right time or place, they can be accepted. So what exactly are unconventional suit colors? Well, let's look at the word unconventional. Now the definition of unconventional is not based on or conforming to what is generally done or believed. Now over history we have seen men time and time again tend to gravitate towards neutral and dark tones for suits, but there is an array of color options which some might also like to wear. For example, some might be yellow, green, purple, bright red, even orange. Some trendy brands will like to use some of these loud colors when developing a whimsical pattern or unique fabric. Now you might be wondering how exactly you can differ between classic and more modern styles when it comes to color palette for your suits. Now let's first talk about classic color options. Think blues, grays, browns, these tend to stand well over the test of time. These colors work well with a variety of skin tones and for a variety of different occasions for men. Now leaning on the more modern style of color options, instead of a navy suit, perhaps somebody is wearing a bright blue colored suit. And instead of a black, maybe they're choosing something more punchy like a red or an orange color. These styles probably will not last long during the test of time, but because they're popular, they're often quickly adopted by fashion enthusiasts. Now, although we are talking about two different sides of the spectrum in terms of classic and modern style, there are some ways you can marry both of these styles together properly. First, wearing a dark colored suit and then also trying to infuse that option with brighter colors in your accessories, for example, for a more modern approach. And also you could try wearing a more bright colored and modern suit, but toning it down a little bit with some darker elements, maybe with your shoes or the tie option you choose. So let's say, for example, you're just starting out with suiting. What are some good foundational colors which give you a lot of options? First option would be a charcoal gray colored suit. The reason, it's a very neutral color and it works for a variety of different skin tones and different occasions. The warmer tone of the charcoal color keeps it versatile year round as opposed to its cousin, the light gray colored suit. Both options actually provide a lot of versatility year round, but charcoal would give you more options than the light gray. Also, where a navy suit would make a young man look younger, charcoal would have the opposite effect. Now, Next color option would be the classic navy suit. Reason, it's also equally as versatile as the charcoal, but adds a little bit more color. Also, the suit color is able to be dressed up or dressed down quite easily. There are an endless number of outfit combinations which make this an extremely versatile option which you should probably have in your wardrobe. Now you can find more information on how to find shirts and tie combinations for a blue suit or a gray suit here. Now your third option for color for a suit would be brown. Now the reason is the brown color allows you to break up the monotony of the blue and the gray options you have but still remains classic and understated. Now historically we see that medium to lighter brown shades for suits are much less formal. Typically something you want to refrain from wearing while in town, maybe just while you're out hunting on the countryside. Darker browns or more of a charcoal brown could actually be worn in the same setting as a charcoal suit or a navy suit. Overall, we find that brown is quite an underrated color, but you can find more information about it here. Next, we have the classic black suit. It's a more serious color, typically reserved for celebratory occasions or a business setting. Now, while we find black and in particular black suits quite overrated, it would not hurt to have at least one in your wardrobe for those certain occasions, perhaps a funeral. So now you've got a little more information on what good colors to have foundationally. Now let's go over how to find the best unconventional colors for yourself. And one of the first things you wanna consider when you're picking your colors is where are you going? Now for an example, let's say you're out dining with friends. This is a great time to have your suit color choice be more moderately colorful. Meaning having a warm touch of color or having a neutral base with some color woven in for your overall suit. Next, let's consider a possible wedding for a former classmate of yours. Now some wedding parties come in a very strict dress code for their attendance. Now if this is not the rule for the wedding you are attending, consider wearing something more traditional leaning for your outfit choice. Meaning instead of wearing a traditional navy, you could try a more bright blue. Or instead of a charcoal, 
try wearing a light gray. Next example, let's consider you're getting ready for a job interview. Now, depending on the type of job you're interviewing for, it might be helpful for you to try to incorporate some of the company colors into your outfit. Now, be careful not to go completely overboard with this concept. Now, the key here is to make sure that the interviewer takes note that you are aware of the company in which you are applying for. Also, you don't want to have your interviewer assume that you're trying too hard or that you're maybe trying to get your job simply off of your color choices and not your merit. We want them to pay attention to what you are saying, not on what your clothes are saying. You also want to pay attention to seasonality when you're selecting your different colors and the fabric weight. Now, if you're anything like me and you get warm quite easily, in the warmer months, you probably are going to prefer a lighter weight fabric and something that breathes a little bit better. There are often a lot of great bold and bright color options available in these warmer months. Now, in the cooler months, it might be more advantageous for you to try to opt for a darker color of suit in contrast to the lack of color you're going to be seeing outside. Now, in addition to black, gray, or navy, try adding in camo or burgundy or an olive. And for some fun, the classic black watch pattern is always a great option. Now, you might be wondering why exactly is it important to pay attention to seasonality when selecting your colors. Certain color options are going to look completely out of place in certain parts of the year. Knowing when and where to properly wear something ensures that your unconventional suit color will make sense. Now, we've got a better understanding of when to wear certain suit fabrics depending on the season and depending on the occasion. Now let's try to figure out how do we find the best suit color for your skin tone. First, let's go over the medium skin tone. Now, if you have a moderate amount of melanin in your skin, you have quite a few different options for suit fabrics in which you can wear. This is because the faint undertones in your skin easily complement a variety of different colors. Try wearing different suit colors like cream, eggshell, different shades of brown, or even a bright red. Next, let's go over those of us who have a darker skin tone. Now, although the higher amount of pigmentation in our skin offers a great amount of versatility for different unconventional suit colors, it's important to note that not every color should be considered an option. Try colors like burgundy, camel, mustard, even olive green. Now, individuals with a more fair skin tone or a lighter amount of melanin in their skin are gonna be able to wear colors like bold shades of blue, very shades of gray, even pastels in the summer months. Okay, so now you've figured out how to find what color looks best on your skin tone. Now, how do you find which ones you wanna incorporate well into your wardrobe? Now, your first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is find a suit or a sport coat that incorporates even a minor amount of the color in question into the pattern or the fabric itself. Then you could try to find a tie or a pocket square that incorporates that same color and a different scale of size and use that to complement what you're gonna be wearing on your outfit. Now, if you choose to wear a bold, bright colored, unconventional suit, you can tone things down a little bit by trying to wear dark, warm neutrals. You could try wearing a dark sweater or a dark overcoat in the cooler months and a darker tie or pocket square when it's a little bit warmer outside. Now, let's say you have your mind set on a particular bold color you wanna wear but you're not quite sure if it's gonna mesh too well with where you are going. One thing you can do is break up the suit. Try wearing the jacket with a different pair of pants. Now, if your jacket is more of a bold color, make sure your pants are more of a neutral color. Make sure the bold color does the talking while everything else falls to the background and complements that. Now, one thing you wanna make sure you stay away from is wearing too many unconventional colors together at one time. For example, wearing a very bold tie with a very busy patterned shirt along with your suit fabric. This could be seen as visually confusing and begins to look as though you may have gotten dressed in the dark. A better way to do this would be to choose one to two bold colors and letting everything else fall to the backdrop by wearing more neutral tones. Perhaps wearing a more neutral colored shirt and tie to prevent competition with the unconventional suit color. Now you might be wondering where exactly do you find these unicorns of unconventional suit colors? Many suit stores will offer basic color options, but not all of these different stores are gonna offer those out of the box unconventional color options. Now brands which offer a nice variety of colors and patterns would be Suit Supply, Paul Stewart, Ralph Lauren, and Brooks Brothers. Now many might be extremely surprised to hear us list Brooks Brothers on this list, but their Made to Measure program offers a wide array of various color options for you to choose from. Now just to recap, it ultimately would be easier to wear neutral, more classically styled suits. On those occasions when you wanna add a little bit more flavor to your outfit, it is ideal to know how to properly incorporate unconventional suit colors. Now when in doubt, consider mixing classic neutrals into your outfit. 
taking an unconventional suit jacket and pairing it with a more neutral bottom. Always an option to consider mixing classic styling with more modern elements. It's important to keep in mind the season, your skin tone, and the location of where you're going to be wearing your suit when selecting your unconventional suit colors. Today I'm wearing a plum purple toned suit. It has some blue and black flecks woven inside of the fabric. I chose to wear that because I love how the dark richness of the color pops wonderfully against this great Fort Belvedere tie. Now this Fort Belvedere tie has purple, petrol blue, and light gray stripes woven in. I'm also accenting the overall outfit with a great linen white pocket square. Now I'm finishing off the look with a classic black dress belt and some black leather dress boots as well. Now the richness of the tie and also the suit fabric look wonderfully in contrast to the crisp white dress shirt I chose to wear as well.